They're both alive. Thank goodness. You actually found Flane? Nice work. It is a shame you could not be there, Claude. I would have liked for you to witness our mortal struggle against the Death Knight. He got away. We could not defeat him. Hey, at least we managed to rescue Flane and complete our mission. That's what counts, right? Right. Excellent work, everyone. Now then, let's get these limp ladies to the infirmary, shall we? No problem. I can carry them both at once. Be gentle with them, Raphael. Let us carry each one individually. And slowly. You know, Teach, seeing you smile sure makes me feel better. You look happy for a change. Hmm? Do you really not know? Well, truth is, I've never seen you smile before now. Oh, dang. At times, it made me wonder whether you were even human. No smile. But I suppose that was just my imagination running wild. Anyhow, we've probably kept Sedith waiting about as long as he can stand. Let's hurry up and tell him the great news. That took two hours. Holy shit. <laughs> Professor, please allow me to express my eternal gratitude once more. Flane is safe and sound, and I have you to thank for that. Mere words could never express how thankful I am. I... I am indebted to you. Yo, Sidith's not gonna be an asshole. I couldn't have done it without the students. I'm just happy she's safe. Couldn't have done it without the students, man. Yes, of course. I shall express my gratitude to the students as well. Why was Flame taken to begin with? Her kidnapper was the masked knight who vanished during the rite of rebirth. The one known as the Death Knight. The Death Considering Knight. Considering the circumstances, it seems plausible to assume that his true identity is Yuritsa. Nah, Yuritsa's the frame, we Flame Emperor. forget about the mysterious Flame Emperor. His true motives are yet unclear. However, I have an idea. I believe the enemy may have been after Flane's blood. Blood? The blood that flows through her veins is special. It is extremely rare. And extremely dangerous. If enemies who know the secrets of Flane's blood, blood. have appeared... <laughs> Our only option is to leave the monastery and go into hiding. Brother, wait. Flame, what are you doing here? You should be resting. I do not like the path of your thoughts. I do not wish to live in some lonely, remote location where I never get to see anyone. Not ever again. If we stay here, you may be targeted again. Wouldn't it be better for the two of us to live in peace? Even if we ran off to some new, secret location, there is no guarantee that they would not find us. That is why I believe it would be safest to stay in the monastery, where we are surrounded by capable knights and professors. Who let you get kidnapped one point. time already? However... <laughs> you know it is the only reasonable option. What if I were to join the professor's class? Oh! New student! Hell yeah! New student! You think so too? I am so very pleased to hear that. Yo, please. With a professor like you nearby, I want to be able to have ten out of ten people no on missions, please. I see. I messed up not recruiting what's his face, the the little kid. Point. I professor, wanted to recruit him. Due to my position, I have closely scrutinized everything about you. Come on, After please. After all that has happened, I must admit that you are indeed a trusted ally. Yeah, thank you, Sedith. So what say? You? I kind of thought you were Can an I asshole, but I mean, you kind of acted safety? like an asshole. It would be my pleasure. Hell yeah. I shall yeah. speak with the Archbishop immediately. They're Please. all being my friends, man. I promise to look after Flame. She is all I have. I am so glad that Flame is safe. Yet I a lot of green-haired people in this. A lot of green-haired. There's literally three important, three, three had. important green-haired girls. Yo, do we get another, another student? Yo, give me another student. Joe received white dragon scarf. What does it do? An embroidered scarf honoring the Immaculate One. Gives you plus two charm. Um, let's get rid of this. Wait, why do I have a steel bow? I can't even use it. Well done, Professor. I see that I was right to ask your class for assistance. I have been told that Manuela and Flane are recovering nicely, as is Monica. Who is Monica? Is Monica a student here? 
Monica, the girl you rescued along with Flane, is also a student of the Officer's Academy. However... She is a student from last year's class. She went missing just before she would have graduated. It never occurred to us that something might have happened to her at the monastery. We assumed she had run away. Wow. I never dreamed that we would find her. Not like this. Oh, something definitely Monica something definitely happened to her. She's like a Black sleeper Eagle agent now. Once she has fully recovered. Our enemies are still Oh, out. she's going to the Black Eagle so house. We must remain cautious and continue our investigation. However, we must also help the students to move on from this incident. After all, the Battle of the Eagle and Lion will be held in Grander Field next month. Yes, the students will remember it for the rest of their lives. Please guide them so that they may show us their best at the coming battle. So, you'll be going to Grander Field next month. You've never been there before, have you? Nope. There is unease in the western side of the Empire, but everything east of the capital, Anbar, is stable. Well, there was a noble rebellion a short while ago, but it didn't amount to much. Uh, what will you do next month? Will you come to the Battle of the Eagle and Lion? Sorry, but I've got my own mission, and it's far from Grander Field. The Church has always been quick to make use of those who work for them. What I'm more concerned about is finding out who among us is pulling the strings. Ever since the Rite of Rebirth, Strange groups have been seen around Garrig Mach and elsewhere, too. There was also an incident where some knights investigating these suspicious strangers turned up dead. Ooh, that doesn't Not that sound it's good. likely, but if something like that ever happens to me, search this room, every corner, behind every shelf. I'm going to leave something for you. Oh, he's totally... Don't say things like that. He's don't totally going to die, and then we're going to no have to search his room. Dying. I know it would be too much to ask you to cheer up, but can you at least drop the serious... <laughs> well, I'll be. Was that a smile just now? Part 1. White Clouds. Wyvern Moon, Field of the Eagle and Lion. From on high, flocks of wyverns roar in chorus and soar the pristine skies, heading south for the winter. Fodlan's children lend their hands to winter preparations by gathering firewood and catching fish from the river's cool waters. Yet all the while, their gazes are turned skyward, drawn to the magnificent sight above. Combat arts. I know what those are. So I wonder if I, like, skipped all the lecture and stuff that I could have possibly done had I not just instantly done that. Yep. Alright. Yeah, we got a green thing. Don't know what that means. Green exclamation point. It's finally time. The Battle of the Eagle and Lion at Grander Field is this month. Don't tell me you forgot, Teach. It slipped my mind. Oh, no! You're kidding. Come on, Teach. I need you to keep it together for me. Don't lose focus when it counts. The Battle of the Eagle and Lion is one of the Academy's annual traditions. It's a huge mock battle between the three rival houses. But you know all about rivalry battles, Professor. There was one right after you got here, remember? I hear the Battle of the Eagle and Lion will be held in Grander Field, far away from Garrig Mach. I find it funny the that it's called that the Battle the of Eagle and Lion. Wins. It's a three-way battle. Even though it's a three-way battle. On Sounds exciting, it only it? has two of the house names in it. It's a hey, three-way battle. What about Professor Manuela? Do you think she'll be able to join us despite her injuries? I'm afraid she's sitting this one out, as is Professor Hanneman. As my persistent rival will not be present, it only goes to follow that I must also sit out this year's battle. Now leave me be, Claude. Uh, in that case, I must sit out too. Oh, don't worry about us. 
You know you want to see the kids in action. If it isn't our own Professor Manuela, all things considered, you're looking well. Thanks to all of you. But I'd only be a burden out there. My students don't need to see me collapsed. Well, not on the battlefield anyway. Does that mean you really won't be joining us for the battle? Correct. We will not be participating. Regardless, do not expect victory to come easily, or at all. Well put. We've spent the past few months pushing our students to their limits. You can see me in the infirmary after they destroy you. Oh, dang. If I'm the only professor present, this doesn't seem fair. Oh my, look at you! If you're as confident as all that, my students will walk all over you. Yeah, right. We Come on now. We have taught our students well. There is no need to hold back. Challenge them with everything you have. Hmm. Interesting. Growth results from the previous previous month have been included in this report. Nice. So it does just automatically do stuff for us. Ooh, ah, almost B plus. Yo, Marianne, B plus. Yeah, I've got this down. I'm beginning to understand. Swordbreaker. Better than before. I think I get it. I'm getting the hang of it. Another I understand sword more every rescue. day. He's still only D. Oh, right. I can't even make him a flying unit. Mirian and, and Hilda Skywatch for three weeks. Dang it. I didn't want Marianne to do that. The sword of the creator is restored and can now be used 20 times. Alright, so what's the green exclamation point? Lorenz receives a letter from his father, Court Gloucester, who wishes to for his son to resolve a territorial dispute that is about to escalate to violence. Ooh. Alright, let's see here. Can I buy more Oops. God damn it. Can I buy I can buy more intermediate seals. Alright. So, Raphael, you're going to want an intermediate seal. I guess I'll just buy three, because it doesn't matter who they go to. Flame. Flame's level 11. She is already a priest, too, which is already an, an intermediate class, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, she's already an intermediate class. We could make her a... We could make her a Pegasus Knight, though. Penny with four seals. It's interesting to me that only females can be Pegasus Knights. I guess then again, there's also classes that only males can do, it looks like. Like, he has two more class. He has two classes that she doesn't have. Only males can do, looks like, Brawler. Yeah, only males can do Brawler and Mage or Dark Mage. She's a Mage. Wait, can she not do Dark Mage? Oh, yeah, only I guess only men can do Dark Mage. Huh, interesting. All right, well, I'm going to swap him off of... Uh, swap him off of flying then if I can't even make him a flying unit I'll just get I'll just make him a paladin I guess or I can make him I don't know I guess just a paladin what other lance things are there literally just a paladin okay All right, whatever Raphael you've got a couple choices do I want him to be an armored knight? I kind of do, but I kind of just want to make him a brawler. It lowers his strength, though. Brigand is just an axe. Just, Brigand's just axe, dude.
Fuck it. We'll make him a brawler. And there we go. Raphael the brawler. Alright. Uh, who's the other one? Marianne is obviously going to be a priest. That's all she wanted to do, so... Leone. I could make her an archer. 65% chance. We're gonna make her a cavalier. All that hard work's paid off. And that's everybody, right? I forgot I had one on Leone already. So. So yeah, everyone is now an intermediate class. I could... I could also... <laughs> I could also have her be a brigand. Just for the axe stuff. That would... Give her plus two HP and plus two strength, but then it would lower all these other stats a lot. From where she has... Where she's at currently as a Pegasus Knight. You can, I can get an intermediate seal for free. Hmm. I don't want it, though. Alright, so first things first. Ignats. Steel bow. We're giving you that boosted steel bow. Oops, Forge, Joge. We'll forge your steel sword, make it better. Claude. We'll forge your armor slayer sword. I'm just gonna forge, like, everything I can. Oh, I have no smithing. I Never mind, I used all my smithing stones already. Shit. Can I buy more? Can't. Shit, how do I get more smithing stones? Shit, how do I get more smithing stones? Fuck. Well, I messed that up. I'm gonna figure this out in a bit. I'm gonna go to the bathroom right now. Let's explore, because I need more smithing stones. <laughs> this monastery is more dangerous than I expected. It's likely that our foes have infiltrated the ranks of the teachers. And there may be others of questionable character about as well. If you ask me. Alright. What's up, Hilda? Do you have a second? It's about Monica. Does she seem off to you? I've not she met her, so. She was in prison for a long while, but she seems to have recovered almost instantly, and she's been bizarrely cheerful. Now that you mention it, she's moving on. Isn't that Don't a good you thing? You see what I mean? I wonder if she's straining to seem happy just to make people comfortable. Hmm. And why is she so close to Edelgard anyway? Interesting thoughts there. Interesting thoughts. <laughs> Alright, what do my classmates have to say? Claude, what's up? Going all the way to the Empire for a mock battle? This is serious business. And there's a reward to be had as well. I'd really like to win this thing. Everyone else seems to be raring to go too. We're all looking to you to guide us, Teach. Wow, 
Well, excuse me, Professor. Um, do you think it would reflect poorly on me if I chose not to take part in the battle of the eagle and lion? What? Uh, don't you want to participate? Well, well, I don't really want to leave the monastery. Ah, I see. I'm not very confident, but I'll try my best. But we've we've left the monastery before to like do missions and stuff. Whatever. Hello, random red-haired girl who's apparently in my class, but has nothing to do with my class. There's a lot of people to talk to over here. Wait. There's a fishing tournament? A fishing tournament now. Are they just giving up on the battle of the eagle and lion? Oh, that's at the end of the You're month. Come on, right this, now, right? Are you? Yes, I'm taking part. <laughs> if you've got all this free time, shouldn't you be spending it on your students? Quit being such a fucking stuck-up bitch. Professor. Arcane crystal. Interesting. <laughs> no. Let's go get our uh, free stuff. Let's go get our harvest our plants. Almost, almost a better professor. Almost. Very close. Let's use these very common root vegetables with these rare seeds that we only have one of. I didn't even know this was a place. I've never been here because I literally didn't even know this was a... Okay. Every one of these rooms can have free stuff in it and I would not know. So this is where all the students live, who are not me. Oh, here we go. Here we somebody's in here. Felix. I'm not interested Just like in the cat. Or prizes. All I want is a formidable enemy to sink my teeth into. You're one of them, Professor. Come on now, I'll kick your ass, buddy. Yeah, let's Join recruit him. Some I might. All right, let's see if we can get some free stuff. Steal some free stuff from one of my students' rooms. That's so. Portrait of Rhea. Somebody has a portrait of Lady Rhea. Interesting. I bet it's Sedith. Why he lost it in the dormitory, I'll never know. Come on, just give me some smithing stones. Come on, somebody's gotta be hoarding some smithing stones in here somewhere. I know it. Man, there's literally nothing in any of these students' rooms that I can steal. What a ripoff. What's the point of being a teacher if I can't steal from my students? Man. This game is so unrealistic. Let's see. Right, there's a million people to talk to over here. Yo, what's up, Lysithia? Go all the way to Grander Field. It's idiocy to travel that far. It may know. be a tradition. Okay, but tradition. That's what I was gonna say. It is exhausting. So pointless. Uh, quit being a stuck-up be bitch. Even by you, Professor. There's not. We're going. Quit whining. <laughs> Welcome to the monastery. Looking for dust. Show any. F I have a favor to ask. All right, yo, fishing tournament bait. <laughs> hey, I'm going to catch me some mighty fish. Just you wait and see. Sure. Mm, but they haven't been biting. Uh, your shouting is scaring the fish. Maybe the fish are frightened uh, by you. I didn't think of that. Ah, the truth is right in front of me. Yep, you're a scary <laughs> dude. <laughs> oh, just kidding. 
<laughs> so a fish is smart enough to be afraid of me. <laughs> Man. This dude's pretty dense. Will you be taking part two, Professor? Uh, I must admit I am quite excited. Of course I'm taking the part. Type of fish I was hoping to dine on. So, if you do manage to catch a fish, do you mind bringing it for me to see? Of course I will. Yo, know, pond snail. Wait. Does she have something for me? Have you thought of I just thought you're likely to be Catherine if you have a fish with a rarity of four stars or higher. Hmm. Yeah, you got a quest? A request. Uh, some banners making trouble in a nearby village. Okay, so now we have like a bunch of quests to go kill bandits. Or something, I'm pretty sure. Hi Come there. on. Uh. Pardon me. You know, I should probably check and see if these uh, smithing thing or these quests give me smithing things. Because if they do, I should totally just do the quests. Yes. Okay, we. Mm. Uh, none of these give me smithing stones. Whatever, we'll go to wherever this is. Start this quest. Yo, random student. I have a favor to ask. Deliver a letter. There's no address, but there's only one person who is gallant, has a charming smile, and always puts his family first. Heartfelt love letter. Uh, looks like it's somebody down here. Is she sending a, a love letter to fucking Professor. this dude? Yep, it's him. I'm going to catch me. Uh, gifts. Have this heartfelt love letter. I appreciate this. That's all you gotta say is I appreciate this. That's it. Yo, this girl is thirsty. First for the young, young, like, 12-year-old kid, and now for a adult man, knight, like, dang, oh, she's outside. For some reason, I thought she was in that room. My well? Savior, thank you. Watch out, Luis has read the letter. I think you looked at about a key he delivered the letter. Yeah. Yeah, can you believe it? Aloise is happy. Could you believe it? This dude is happy constantly. He's literally never not happy. Alright, one of you guys has a quest for me. Uh, invisible person, yes. Oh, invisible knight. Uh, practice battle maneuvers with the knight of the holy kingdom of Fargus. Alright, so... Alright, let's just do the fishing tournament bullshit. Professor. Welcome to looking dust. Show any fish. Fish in the pond? Hell yeah, I'm gonna fish in the pond. Tournament bait. What happens if I like don't press A? Like just it's just a blue fish. I'm not gonna we're not gonna get him. It's just a blue fish. I'm waiting for a red fish, come on now. Alright, we'll get this blue fish. Just a small fish. Too easy. Perfect. A regular Fodlin carp. Alright, we need a five star fish. We need to get ourselves a five star fish. Nah, none of this none of this blue fish crap. Red fish, here we go. Oh fucking perfect catch on the red fish. Two it's herring. Five star fish. I don't even need to I don't even need to do anymore. Who do I need to show the you look confused. Just cap show any Alright. Uh, here's my five star fish plane. <laughs> it took me one minute to catch. Oh you caught Yes, yes, yay, I am so pleased. I shall cook it up immediately. 
Thanks. Fishing float? Well, head to the battle against the bandits of the village. Alright, so it looks like we just need to do, instead of these, whatever they're called, are the, are the black dots like students? Just random students, I'm guessing? Alright, where is... Who does authority again? It's Man Manuela does authority, right? I think. Maria doesn't. The no, I, I hope you were able to put all of that behind you, so that you may focus on this month's. Of the course. most reassuring response. I trust that your class is in good hands. Yes, they totally are. I look are. forward to seeing your skills on display at the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. What if I'm just not in it? All right, Sedith's totally in here. We don't need to talk to Sedith. Wait, do we need to talk to Sedith? What is Sedith again? Nah. Nah, he's not what I want. I'm fairly certain Manuela is the one who is authority. I'm pretty sure. Yes. Gerald, what are you? Preparations for the Battle of the Eagle and Lion going. Hmm? Fishing? <laughs> Taking it easy, are you? Hell yeah. The recent happenings at the monastery. There is something going on behind the scenes here. I've been commissioned to investigate as well. As I've already mentioned, this month I'm off to the kingdom. You be on your guard, okay? I'm not worried. Well, I hope you're right. What's your training in spirit? He does authority, okay. Alright, let's level up our authority a little. Glory of progress. What does Man Manuela do then? thought I was pretty good, you know? Then I'd go and get stabbed. Oh. Which you get but stabbed? My opponent was the Death Knight, so I figure I did pretty well to only get stabbed. I wonder if it's true that he is actually Yuritsa. Whoever he is, I'm going to make him pay. It turns out that when I get stabbed, I get really mad. He hurt you this time. Next time he may kill you. I'll help I'm you get not revenge. Going to let him get the better of me again. So she does sword flying that okay. Do you have any gifts for her? No, any lost items? No, that's nope, that's not hers. Okay. I have so many freaking lost items, dude. Emotional attachment to Rhea. Slacking and training. Has a hard no, time cleaning? Nah, that's totally her. picky about their bedding. It belongs to a young noble who owns territory skilled with a bow. Adult with a taste Boy, for liquor. 100% hers. Thank you for getting it back to me. Bundle of dry hemp. Expensive looking class with an outdated design. It belongs to someone who is not up on trends. Adores sweets. Loves wooing women. Closely related to a knight. Used to live in Brigid. All right, whatever. Let's give uh, this dude his lost thing that's totally his. Maybe you can convince him. Let's, all right. There was something that was definitely his. Um, I believe her. Plants. Finally connect research. research. There we go. Uh, what's the fighting tournament? Which one of my students can I have kick someone's ass? Sword tournament. Claude is a C in sword, so... We'll try. Might as well. Claude versus Ingrid. Help! 
never underestimate an outsider. Claude wins. Claude will only do seven damage. All right, I literally can't even can't beat him. Literally cannot beat Dimitri. All right, well, never mind. That got us our professor level up, though. We're now a C rank professor. The supply activity points remaining is increased. The just uh, adjuncts you can deploy has increased. Now receive more monthly funds. Master classes have been unlocked. Thank you. The recipe book for cooking together has expanded. Adjutants. I don't. I have no idea if that how that's spelled. Anyway, once you reach professor level C, you can assign an adjutant to follow a unit into battle. The number of adjutants you can assign per battle increases with your professor level. Depending on class, adjutants can provide one of three types of aid. Follow-up, occasionally adds a follow-up attack to in combat. Guard, defends against and reduces damage from follow-up attacks. Heal, occasionally heals the host until the time... Or until... Wait. Host at the start of a turn. Uh, adjutants are more effective at higher support levels. They get experience in battle, but do not lose weapon durability and do not die if the host is defeated. Interesting. Interesting. Spotted Hubert, yo, Hubert. Definitely. Yo, free stuff. Uh, letter to Rhea belongs to someone with a deep connection to Rhea. I got a bunch of stuff for Rhea. What do you say, Edo? Shall we meet up in the library later? Oh, that's Monica. Oh, hello, Professor. Do you need something? I'm a little busy at the moment. Sorry, Professor. I've got a lot of questions to ask Edo here. Since I couldn't graduate last year, I really want to make sure I can do so this year. Interesting. I was gonna talk to him, but I guess I'll just leave. Alright, so I still got two things I can do. I can do some more training. Looks like Lorenz here wants to meet me for some something. Indeed. Maybe it's not I Lorenz. received a rare letter from my father recently. He said that he is praying for the Golden Deer House to emerge victorious. Insistently praying. My father attended the Officer's Academy and won a glorious victory in the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. I think he is quite proud of that, even to this day. I suppose that shows how great an honor it truly is. Interesting. Yo, free stuff. I guess we gotta go outside for this? Uh, Manuela. Okay, so now we're better friends with her. Settle down and stop with the knocking. I'll be there in two shakes. Oh, she is hungover. Were you, you were sleeping? Oh, dear. Professor? Is that you? I... Yeah? Just a moment. Oh, what should I do? I can't open the door in this state. Manuela, you simply must quit oversleeping. Oh yeah, she's totally not. Where are my clothes? She's totally not hungover. My... Where in blazes is my underwear? Oh Jesus. Oh, I. What is my dressing robe belt caught on? Jesus. Oh, I can't tie this properly. It's not even covering. Oh, Manuela. This will have to do. Are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. Just, uh, just hold on a moment. <laughs> Hello. She's wearing the Sorry same clothes she normally wears. So, what do you want? Um, that took a while. What were you doing? Excuse me. You had a reason for coming here, I assume. I've put a lot of time and effort into making it possible to talk with you. You know. Sorry. <laughs> No, you've done nothing wrong. Let's just say I'm not having a good day. Actually, I didn't have a good night. Never mind. What did you want, anyway? Uh, about last night. I have a message from a knight. Uh-oh. You heard from him? The fellow from last night? Huh. What did he have to say? Oh, God. He said, we will never go out together again. Oh man, <laughs> kind of. I, I feel bad yeah, for her. Figures, kind of saw it coming. Actually, that's why I came back to my room and went to bed to get over it. Thank you. 
for checking in on me. Was that all you wanted? Well then, good night. Sleep well. Dang. And somehow, somehow we have higher support level off of that. Which reminds me, I've got all these other support things to do. are great too but uh <laughs> there's nothing like a good cut of meat may i join you hey lawrence you here to eat it looks like you barely grabbed anything and please this amount will suffice for me there's no need to compare our portions no wonder you're so skinny my little sis eats more than you oh dang calling him out I. you need it more than i do uh, you offer me half-eaten scraps? The nerve. With manners like that, even a nobleman would be an absolute disgrace. Have you no dignity? You're pretty touchy, huh? It's probably just because you're hungry. Raphael, please, do you mind? I cannot enjoy the simple pleasure of a meal in these conditions. Why can't you enjoy your meal? You don't like what's on the menu? You wait here. I'll go to the kitchen and find something tastier for you. That won't be necessary. Please, just let me eat. In peace. Alone. You're the one who came up and, like, sat down once. next to him. Nothing goes with a meal better than good company. If leading the Alliance is your goal, you should really try eating with other people first. I'm afraid I fail to see the connection between leadership and dining. If you want to be a leader, you have to know how to get along with different types of people, right? If you really want to get to know someone, all you have to do is share a meal with them. Quite the contrary, unfortunately. It seems the more time I spend eating with you, the less likely we are to become friends. Somehow this is raising the your support you level. Someone, the more you learn about them. Their likes, their dislikes, you know? You might get some of their food that way too. You can eat more and bulk up. <laughs> All that talking made me hungry again. I'm gonna go get seconds. <sighs> what an absolute bother. But... I suppose he does have a point about observations of character at the dinner table. Man, it's like, I'm pretty sure like everyone is just like Ignots, let us take a raising their support level with I lower ends and that's it. Please choose a teapot for us to use. You want me to pick one? I don't see any other Ignots around here, do you? Go on now, we're wasting time. The pots are over here. I will leave the selection to your judgment. Ah, let's see. How about Yo, look this? at those back look at that basket in the background. That's rather plain. Why did you choose that one? The tea you chose has a very subtle taste, as well as a smooth, light texture. Such an unassuming tea calls for an unassuming pot, and one that complements the tea's color. In addition, the pot I selected has a floral design. Although we can't go for a walk today, we can still bask a little in nature's beauty. Very interesting. You know, you have an absolutely marvelous aesthetic eye. Precisely what I would expect from the son of a merchant house that has enjoyed the Gloucester's patronage for so many years. After we graduate, when you begin your trade in earnest, I will introduce you to my father. Oh, that sounds wonderful. But I'm afraid I'm already on the path to becoming a knight. Ah, right, you are a second son. Still, your eye for beauty is a talent that should not go to waste. Very well. If you are to be a knight, then I shall happily take you into my service. Ah, well... Hmm. What, does that displease you? Not at all. I just need a little time to think it over. Man, his arrogance his is like... The arts is unwavering. But in all other matters, he is woefully indecisive. His arrogance is just... I, I, don't, I don't even know how to, what to say. He's just very arrogant. Lysithia, do you have a moment? There is a matter of significance I'd like to discuss with you. I know you're always seeking the attention of ladies, but why are you wasting your breath on me? Don't be silly. I want to discuss the future of the Alliance, to have a constructive and candid exchange of opinion. I'm not so sure I'm the one being silly. Actually, I'm busy. Stuff to do. 
Now, hold on just a moment. House Ordelia will never benefit from such a narrow-minded mentality. I was under the impression you were interested in me as a person. What do house matters have to do with anything? As it stands, the bonds between Alliance Lords are quite weak. If this state of affairs persists, I'm afraid those bonds may dissolve entirely. I couldn't care less. House Ordelia may be small, but a small house is fettered by fewer obligations than a larger one. Apply yourselves actively in diplomacy, negotiate wisely, and you could do much to help maintain peace among the neighboring lords. The recognition of those lords would benefit your house immensely. To that end, why not start with me, the heir to House Gloucester? It couldn't hurt for us to become friends, could it? Yes, yes, of course, when the time comes. But right now, I'm quite busy. Maybe later. As it is, I'm studying magic for the benefit of the Alliance, and I would appreciate it if you left me to it. Ah, I see. Then forgive the intrusion. I will take my leave of you for now. But if there is any way I can be of help to you or your house, I hope that you won't hesitate to ask. After all, as I'm sure you know, the future of the Alliance is my responsibility. <laughs> Man, just watching this dude be a fucking a arrogant future, dickhead is. Hm. Man. As though I have a future. Oh, dang. Low self-esteem. All right, Lorenz. You and Hilda. Ah, Lawrence. At it again. Hello, Hilda. Are you training too? If that's the case, I may have to revise my opinion of you. Increased strength and skill would serve as perfect compliments to your beauty and esteemed lineage. Um, no, I just left something here. I don't share your tireless work ethic. You're quite something. I don't think I've ever seen you take a break. When the fate of all the Alliance rests on your shoulders, the rigors of training seem paltry by comparison. Besides, when my admirers see that even an individual of my talent possesses a diligent work ethic, it is sure to inspire them. I see. But I was wondering... <laughs> Never mind. You're clearly busy. Oh, is there something you require? What do you need? There is nothing I cannot handle. Well, the trouble is, I'm no good at fighting. No good at I'm fighting. This is the girl who constantly kills warrior. people with a fucking axe. I didn't even want to join the academy, honestly. My brother made me. Of course. For a delicate flower such as yourself, no doubt that For a delicate a flower hardship. whose two main things she wants to do <laughs> are it lance does. and so axe. So I was wondering if in the next training session you do my fighting for me? Man. I mean, I can put on a tough I'm actually fighting kind of air, but that's not quite enough on its own. Please, leave all of the difficulty to me. I shall permit no harm to befall you. Ah, I'm so happy. In that case, I'll focus on giving a convincingly soldierly performance. You know, Lawrence, you're a good guy. Not that I'd have expected anything less from a noble. With each of your foes that I vanquish, I shall only become ever stronger. Yes, leave it all to me. <laughs> Jeez. What a guy. What a fucking ham. And all I had to do was ask. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I'll have a snack. Her commitment to being lazy is... Jesus. Every... So many... So many support things. I should really do these, like, immediately, but I don't. <sighs> This is literally the same thing that happened before. He just uh, walked up behind him and didn't God. say anything. Why didn't you say anything? You were praying so fervently, I didn't want to interrupt. I appreciate the sentiment, but I wasn't praying. No? What then? I was just thinking about the goddess. Where are you now? Fascinating. Please, go on. Not here. Let's go somewhere else. Yo, so, change of scenery. You pondering the existence of the goddess, then. Look at that yes. high-res table. All right. Consider this. In the background. The archives here have all kinds of texts about the goddess, right? But when people tell stories of the goddess, it's only myths and legends that glorify her. They probably hope to rake in more followers by glorifying the goddess as much as possible. 
That would be why the church tends to quietly shove all of their more questionable records under some secret rug somewhere. C Claude, don't put words in my mouth. That's not what I said. I was just Claude. wondering what the goddess looks like. That's the kind of thing I like to think about. It's like, oh, what so you want to bang the goddess? I like? see. Well, I suppose if she really exists, she probably looks a lot like us. You two in look fact, incredibly she different. Wouldn't be so different from that old woman working here in the dining hall. What, Claude? Please stop. The goddess I imagine is absolutely beautiful. Ah, so How you want to bang the goddess? I'm sure that old woman was lovely back in her day. <laughs> so he does want to bang the goddess. I mean, I don't blame him. If you could bang a goddess, would you? Yes! Time for food! Hey, Ignatz! Is this seat taken? Oh, hey, Raphael. I'm done eating, so you can sit here if you like. Really? But there's still food on your plate. Uh, it's fine. I'm not that hungry. Anyway, I guess I'll be heading off. Oh, okay. Hey, Ignatz! Want to train with me? Uh, oh my! That equipment's looking rusty. Let me fetch some oil. What's the matter? It always looks like that. Come on, we'll take care of it later. No, you have to do it as soon as you notice. There's oil in the warehouse. I'll be right back. Oh, he's avoiding him. He's afraid of hey, Buff Gordon Ramsay. Uh, hello, Raphael. Are you busy? I need to talk to you. No, uh, that's... Oh, I almost forgot. It's time to return this book to the library. I'll just... Hey, 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 hold up. Are you seriously going to keep running away from me? What? No, I'm not running. Yes, you are. Every time I try to talk to you, you make up some excuse and run. What's going on? You were a lot friendlier to me when we were kids. You were always so excited oh, they knew to show each other me all the kids? neat stuff you had whenever I came to visit. We'd play hide-and-seek with my little sis, draw pictures, and then do other fun stuff, too. Remember all that? Things can't be the way they were. It's regrettable, but it's the truth. Regrettable? What's there to regret? I mean, you know, what happened to your parents? Yo, my we're getting parents lore. are the reason your parents died. Yo, what? what are you talking about? My parents died in an accident while traveling for work. Maybe so, but they were taking over for mine. Because they had other business that day and couldn't go themselves. So, they recommended yours to fill in for them. Huh. I didn't know that. But, what does that have to do with our friendship? No, but see, I... Oh, I see. But we're done talking about this. You gotta stop beating yourself up over it. It was an accident. He's just putting on a brave face. No one is that forgiving. Man, Ignat's in his low self-esteem. Good morning, Lysithia. Out for a stroll, are we? It's lovely weather for it. I might go wander outside myself. I'm sure I can see some beautiful sights. Ignatz, hold still, will you? What? Uh, sure. Your shoes are untied. It looks sloppy. Let me just fix it for you. Oh, thank you for letting me know. But really, I'm perfectly capable of tying them myself. <laughs> Clearly that's not the case. Otherwise, this wouldn't be an issue. Now, hush. Um... There we go. Thanks. You've also got awful bedhead. Dude, terrible what? bedhead. But I Just look at that terrible, bed, terrible bedhead. It's the back of your head. His fucking coconut Quite head. Unkempt. Yo. You really should get it together. I just noticed. I mean, he looks like really. a green-haired, glasses-wearing coconut head from Ned's you? Declassified. You really should be more presentable. Bruh. Sorry, Lysithia. You're always so perfectly put together. In fact, I'd say you're perfect in all respects. Oh, dang. I don't think I've seen you fail at anything. Well, consider that if I make even the slightest misstep, everyone will treat me like a child. There's nothing I hate more than that. I see. Well, I think you're very mature. If anything, you may be overdoing it somewhat. I mean, people treat me like a child sometimes. 
but I like it because it reminds me that other people care about me. You know, no matter how much we stretch, some things are always beyond us. I think it's fine to be vulnerable and ask for help sometimes. Ignatz, are you really lecturing me about how I conduct myself right now? Oh. You're a sheepish, unreliable scatterbrain who can only ever think about what others think of him. Oh, Perhaps dang. you should worry about your own maturity before you start bitch. questioning mine. Although you certainly look the part of a baby, so maybe Jesus. too much. Anyway, what a fucking cunt. So I'm gonna go now. Uh, Lysithia, wait. Hey! Out of my way. You're such a child, I swear. Dang. Oh, that was uncalled for. After all, I am older than she is. Dang. That was... That was extremely rude. I'm just gonna stare at these two girls talking to each other. Hey, Ignatz. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready to start cleaning? No, that's all right. Actually, I'm just finishing up. Oh, it's true. Look how tidy everything is. You've done such a marvelous job. I'm glad I didn't get in your way. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, anyway, you can go now. Hmm? Huh? You were talking to your friend, right? I just have some things to put away. It's okay. I can manage without you. Oh, Ignatz. I thought I saw someone earlier. That was you, wasn't it? You know, I'd have been willing to help. You could have just said, hey, let's go and clean. It's all right. You were having a conversation. I didn't want to sneak up like I was eavesdropping. And really, I didn't need help. Oh, Ignatz, you darling. You're so considerate. Thank you so very much. Glad to be of service. I'll start putting all this away. Not so fast. W what's the matter? I'm very confused. Because she's Aren't always trying to it? get out of doing everything. Think you might be taking on too much, hmm? Oh, uh, I didn't expect to hear that from you. Let me give you some advice. It's true that I like to delegate as many tasks as I possibly can. But, when someone helps me, I make sure to lavish them with praise as a reward for their hard work. So, then we come out even. On the other hand, look what almost happened just now. You did all that work for me, and I almost missed it. Now, where would that leave you? With no praise, no thanks. You'd be losing out. Um, personally, <laughs> I'd prefer to lose out, rather than inconvenience someone else. For instance... I'd have felt terrible for intruding on your important conversation earlier. Consider the negligible loss to me versus the major inconvenience to you. Personal loss is always going to be the better choice. Jesus. Right? Huh. Well, what is this conversation? Feel, then I'm not sure how to convince you otherwise. What an interesting conversation. All right, one more person on Ignatz. Leone. Oh, Professor. Here's the Yo, map it's me. Well, as always next time, I suppose. Hey, Ignatz, didn't you have something to talk to the professor about? Oh, no, nothing urgent. You didn't cut short your conversation because of me, did you? Come on, do I seem like the type to do that? No, I just had a couple of questions about the bows. We're done now, so I thought I'd come and tell you. The bows? Is something wrong with them? Lots of them have come in for repairs lately, so I switched out some of the strings for stronger ones. They've been breaking less, but now they're harder to draw. Ah, I see. I suppose people would prefer if you went back to the lighter bow strings. Maybe. If the only issue was the draw weight, I'd just tell people to get stronger arms. But the real problem is that you can't shoot as fast. The arrows also fly too far now. I can see how slower shooting is a drawback, but the arrows flying farther... That actually sounds like a good thing. Sure, on open plains, but up close you lose accuracy. That's why I thought it might be good to use different bowstrings for different scenarios. I find it interesting that Ignatz, that. who is literally just oh, like only point. trained in bow, you know a lot about bows, don't you? and yes, I do. Leone, I grew up in a village, so who I've been them I my whole haven't life. been training in bows I at all. I wouldn't say I'm necessarily better than anyone, but at like, least I know what I'm doing. 
And you? She's Do telling you him all this really stuff about at? bows, and he's literally like bow master. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I, I don't think so. Well, I'm sure you'll find your thing someday. I hope so. Bruh, you are literally like King Sniper over here. And you're about to start saying like, oh, don't know anything about bows. Hey, Marianne, what's she in? Mind if I join you? I'm starving. Dude, every single one of his, the ones with him is about eating. All my favorite dishes are on the menu today. I might have grabbed too much. You want some? No, thanks. I... All you've got on your plate are leaves. Are you sure that'll fill you up? Uh, I'm done eating now. I have to go. Huh? You're already done eating? But there's still food on your plate. Hey, Marianne! Huh. Maybe she's not feeling well. I should probably go check on her later. Oh, is that so? I'm so happy you found all of that food. A little gray starling told me that you can find berries if you fly out toward the mountains. Yo, she's talking to ants. She's oh, talking to some animals. I found Marianne. I don't know if she spent her time here. It sounds like she's talking to someone. What's that? You want to try some nectar from the flowers in the greenhouse? That might be tricky. I guess you could try it if I'm already there. Otherwise, you might get locked in. Hey, Marianne. Who are you talking to? <gasps> She's huh? out here talking to a bird. Oh, the birdie flew off. It, yes, it looks like he has. What are you doing here, Raphael? You were acting a little strange when we were eating earlier, so I wanted to check on you. I was worried. Uh, that's sweet of you, but I'm fine. Are you sure? Well, that's good to hear. As long as... Wait a minute! Were you just talking to a bird? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> were you just talking to a bird? I knew it! You can talk to birds! I'm right, aren't I? Uh, um... Yes. Yo, she can talk to birds? What? Incredible. This place is full of interesting folks, but I didn't think anyone spoke birdie. No, that's not it. This bird just happened to be speaking human. Amazing! I hope I get to meet a bird who speaks human one day. Of course, Raphael would literally just believe that. Were you talking to a bird? Yeah. Really? You can talk to birds? No, no, that bird just can talk to people. Oh! Why do I have to clean the library? It looks like you're not busy. I was quite busy sampling pastries, I'll have you know. Who wants to sort books anyway? They're so bulky and heavy, it takes forever to lug them around. Just not talking. Right, Marianne? You agree with me, right? N no I don't mind it. Oh, you like cleaning then? I will say you look like someone who'd be good at it. I, um... I'm not well, sure whether that's a compliment it's or... It's all yours. Or, I uh... I do down, if I'm being honest. As not a I compliment. always say, if you want something done right, let someone else do it themselves. Um... Right, I'm off to run some errands. I'll leave all this in your capable hands. Uh, wow. Are you? Whoa! What happened? This place looks even worse than before! I didn't realize that was possible. I'm sorry, Hilda. I just didn't know the best way to organize the books while sorting. Oh! Well, no way around it, I suppose. I'll show you how it's done. First, you have to decide where you'll put each topic. Then, all of the books that don't match that topic, remove them from the section. When you remove them, you need a temporary place to put them. Let's put books on magic here, books on swordsmanship here. Once you've done that, you just put the books back in their sections, like so. Wow, Hilda, that was incredible. Yeah, yeah, what kind praise. Looks like, in the end, I'm doing this whole thing on my own, hmm? Sorry. Wow. 
The least I can do is help you put them back on the shelf. Man. So many, so many things. I, I think I'm gonna pass out. Ah! Oh, she fell over. Dang, unfortunate. Oh, Lysithia, you're really pale. I mean, she's normally yeah. really pale. I've been feeling really queasy all morning. I'm just heading back to my quarters to rest. Can you even make it there in that state? Here, climb on my back. I'll carry you. What? What? No. No. I'm not some sort of... infant. Always worried about looking like a kid. No time for that now. Just get on. <sighs> I'm feeling a bit better now. I should be okay from here. Thank you so much, Leonie. I hope I wasn't too heavy. Was I? <laughs> no, not at all. I'm actually made for a fun bit of training. Uh, training? <laughs> yeah, carrying someone around is good for the legs. You're just the right weight for it, too. I might ask you to help me train again sometime. Anything can be a kind of training with the right attitude, you know? Are you always thinking about training? Well, I can't devote all my time purely to training. So it's more efficient if I can train while I get other stuff done at the same time. Wouldn't that actually be rather inefficient? Huh? What do you mean? Well, for example, if you're training for endurance, it seems running would be a better approach. If you're only ever training by cramming it in with other tasks, you won't be getting the best results. I'm no expert on the subject, but even I can logic that one out. Come to think of it, you do always seem to stick to a pretty rigid schedule, don't you? I've noticed that you focus completely on whatever it is you've set out to do. Then you switch to something else and focus completely on that. You've noticed, have you? Now that I think about it, you may be right. Maybe that is the more efficient way to do things. Hey, you're really bright, Lysithia. Thanks so much for the helpful advice. That was sweet of Leone to check on me and carry me all the way to my quarters. And in the end, I just lectured her. She did thank me for it, but uh, I probably could have handled that better. Dang. We're getting down to it. Only a couple more left. I bet this involves food again. Uh, this theory just isn't coming together. The thought behind it is sound enough, but... Hmm. Hey, Lysithia. Your forehead's all wrinkled. You look tense. Is something wrong? You know you can tell your big bro rat, uh, I mean, <laughs> you know you can tell me anything, right? Raphael, while I appreciate your offer, I'm not so sure you'll be much help here. What does that mean? Oh, are you researching something complicated? <laughs> In that case, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> Is there something else I can help you with? I'm really good at other things, like training. <laughs> I have absolutely zero interest in such things. This dude reminds me of Goku. I have an idea. Now that I think about it. Good at playing tag? I could teach you. He's really good at training. And he loves eating. There's a trick to it that most people don't know. And he's always happy. Like to not get tagged and stuff. Let me show you. It's too sunny to spend all day inside studying. Come on. Big bro's going to take you outside. <sighs> shut up, shut up, shut up. Can't you see I'm busy? Go bother someone else. What nerve you have too calling yourself Big Bro. Like I'm your little sister or some nonsense. Just cut the act. Uh, did I really say that out loud? Anyway, my grades are miles better than yours. If you want oh, to be a part of Big Brother, you'd probably benefit from studying way, way more. Like I said, I'm really good at other things. Just not classroom learning. I can't stand all the excuses. Clearly, you're the little kid here. Dang, you got projecting. All that. Now, don't bother me again. Understood? Bye. Wow. <sighs> she must be going through a rebellious phase. <laughs> wow. Lysithia being a fucking bitch over here. Sure. Thank 
Thank you so much. You're always so kind to me. I'll have to repay you sometime. <clears throat> Um, Lysithia? What are you doing there? Don't tell me you were listening just now and judging me, getting other people to do my work for me. Oh, dang. I've got better things to do. Although, I do wonder why everyone is always so eager to help you. I only ask for help if they offer. I don't ever pressure people. So I've noticed. That's what strikes me as odd. I suppose they're just so taken with me they want to help me out. I see. That would explain it. Oh dear, I was expecting you to argue, not to agree with me right away. There's no reason to deny what's clearly true. Everything about your outward appearance is immaculate and well thought out. Even your fingernails are always well kept and painted. No doubt your toenails are the same. I can't tell if you're complimenting me or accusing me of something. And you smell delightful, like candy. Or wait, am I catching a hint of floral? I'm so glad you noticed. It's oil extracted from a flower that only blooms at night. Yo, night floral flower. Floral oils, huh? I didn't think they had much use outside of homeopathy and house cleaning. I have some right here, actually. Here, I can give you a splash. There we go. I put it on your wrist, so you'll want to rub them together. Body heat is what activates the scent. Your wrists and your neck are relatively warm, so they're good spots to apply the fragrance. For a very subtle fragrance, you can also try putting it under your clothing. <sighs> so, what do you think? Mmm, it's lovely. Now I smell just like you, Hilda. That doesn't sound creepy at all. Somehow, this makes me feel a little more mature. Thank you. So that's it. She just wants to feel more grown up. She's hard to read, that one. That smile, though. Who knew she could be so cute? And that's all the support things. All right. Now that we're done with that, we can... That took like, man, that took a long time. Um, what was I doing? Fuck, I still have two of these things to do. Hey. Um. I guess I'll just go train my something, I guess. Because like... Can I see their motivation currently? What's your thing actually? What does this do? Uh, adjacent allies take three less damage during combat? Yo, that's really good. She has a training lance? Wait, what are her things? So she's Nosferatu. She has a lance. Does she even do lance? She's, dude, she has super high... Excuse me. Super high resistance. Good dex. Dex hit rate and crit chance. Good... Oh, what does Charm do? Raises Gambit's might, Gambit's might, hit rate, and avoidance. So Charm is good for Gambit. Okay. Resistance, magical attacks, physical attacks. Uh, has various effects. Lowers risk of enemy critical hits. Affects damage the unit deals with physical attacks, affects magic attacks, hit rates, crits, affects avoidance. Interesting. So she knows a bunch of lance things. She's got a battalion. She also has a crest. What does her crest do? Uh, legend has it that St. Kathleen bore this crest, a symbol of kindness and mastery of light, sometimes raises might when, recovery, when using recovery magic. Interesting. Uh, she has a C rank Lance and B rank Faith. What the fuck? I could make her a Pegasus Knight actually. Okay, yeah, I can see the uh, I can see these other ones too. Get some sort of armored Pegasus Knight. Another type of Wyvern Rider. 
We got a white mage, blessed knight, versed in white magic. What are her skills? Her riding is E, but her flying is D. Interesting. C rank lance. Alright, I definitely need, do I have uh inventory. I need trade. No. Inventory. Uh items. Do we have an extra lance? We don't. And I need to <laughs> I need to make their lances better too. Alright, we'll go buy another a new a better lance for her. Definitely need a better lance. We can't have her over here with a training lance. Wait, where is... Welcome. First of all, we are going to sell Flane's training lance. Thank you. And then we're gonna buy ourselves a steel lance. Oh, you're not... Oh, you're not the person I thought you were. Please come again. Welcome. Need to buy here a steel lance. How much does a training lance do? Four? Four versus nine. Will this one do? Many thanks. Hmm. We could give her a javelin too. That'd be interesting. It has a higher chance to hit, but it doesn't do like any damage. Come back soon. That reminds me that... Alright, what are her goals? Okay, Lance and that. Alright, I might... Hmm... I don't know. I'm not really sure. Uh... Lorenz, your focus is no longer going to be on flying. Go back to focusing on, uh... Oh, he doesn't even... Reason. Wait. Two lance and writing skill to excel as a writing class. I guess we could just do that. Um. It reminds me. I need to. I want to know why it doesn't let me use his magic stuff. There's a lot of writing classes. There's a lot of mastery master writing classes. Uh, abilities. What if I trade this for no? Okay, there's nothing. I guess I'll I guess I'll equip that even though it doesn't use it. What magic? Like, why can't I use his magic in... I'm so confused. Like, do I have to reclass him back as, uh, something else? In order to be able to use magic? requires C, which he, he has C reason, so he should be able to use both of these, but... Um, uh, maybe he just can't use it. He has a crest, too. A house Gloucester minor crest inherited from Gloucester of the Ten Leads occasionally raises might during magical magic attacks. How do I... Maybe I should just look it up. Because he has this. He, he gets... All this stuff when using when using black or dark magic, I eh. which I guess doesn't matter because he doesn't have any dark magic. Unless this is dark magic, but I don't think it is. I'm just confused as to why it just doesn't let me use his magic in battle. I'm guessing it might have something to do with his. This class can- oh, yeah, no. That makes sense. 
So he can't use magic unless I use magic for both offense and defense. Unless I have him set on something that has this class can use magic. Okay, so if I want him to be able to use magic, I have to make him one of these. A dark mage or a mage. Interesting. What about advanced? Are there any advanced writing classes that can use magic? This one. Whatever this is, is what I'm probably going to make him do. So he can use black magic. I'll get to it eventually. Yeah, for now... Oh, okay, whatever goals. We're gonna have him do this for now. Alright, uh, we're finally gonna go finish whatever we were doing. I honestly don't remember. Uh, we're just gonna train more in authority. That's, that's all we're gonna do, is train more in authority. Because I can't think of anything else to do. I think you be on all right you can only train shit and no one else does authority someone else has to do authority right like there's multiple of everything but authority that doesn't make sense to me does Tomas teach me anything I don't think he does professor Yeah, they have the little training thing next to them if they can do training. Gilbert doesn't do authority. I always think Catherine... Maybe Gilbert does do authority. I always think Catherine don't. I know none of them do. Is, my, is, is literally Gerald the only person who does authority? Hey. Oh, she's not authority, right? You're not Official, authority. I heard you did some fishing. No point in training with her. I'm going to catch me. And I guess this would put me to D. I don't know what the. Eh, I don't. I don't see the point of it. But whatever. I guess that. Well, we'll train and sword with her for now. And we got one more thing we can do. Let's yes. we'll go see what Gilbert has. Actually, wait, where's the kid? Where's Cyril? I said Cyril was here, right? Right, whatever. Professor, Just wanted to said Cyril's here. Told you, given the events of the last month, I believe this Are you good at fishing? Oh, sport. he's a fisher. Yet I wouldn't say I'm particularly good at it. I believe it best that I stick to quietly fishing by myself. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see. Fodlin is big. It's not as big as Almira is, but it's still pretty big. You want to travel, travel unfolded? I don't know. Never thought about it, I guess. Yeah, let's I recruit learned him. all sorts of things, so I can do as much as possible for Lady Rhea. Cleaning, chopping wood, making feed. Oh, and I'm learning the bow and arrow from Shamir. Yeah, he's learning bow and arrow. I'm happy to help you out with anything you need done for your class. Uh, let's you ask betcha. for his assistance. I'm your guy, Professor. Since, you know, you can't exactly add me to your class. Okay, anything. so we can't actually add him to the class. He's gonna work with us. I don't know what that means. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, cool. I found him something. So he's gonna do something with us, I guess. I don't know what. Ready? Finished the thing.
Uh, I think Manuela does sword. So, we'll go talk to her about the sword. Just do more sword. She's left. I'm not going to. Yep, sword. Alright, there we go. Free time's up. Uh, let's instruct manually as always. Alright, group tasks. Let's change this around. Lorenz and... I guess Claude has a high expected result of it. The only C+. Plus. They have the same expected result, actually, so we'll just do that. Uh, goals. I changed everyone's goals to something different, right? He's got C authority. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Instruct. Oh, we got Cyril, too, even though we can't bring him with us, apparently. Or, oh, we oh we can do five people now. Hell yeah. He's really good at axe and bow, which is a strange combination to me. Alright, who needs it most? Who do I think needs the most work done? I could honestly just, like, give her more sword skills so that she can kill people with a sword. I could do that. Uh, let's let's finish off her X. Get it to B. Yes, X now level B. She now has a lance breaker. Uh, then let's go. He's really close on his bow. Yo, we got a perfect. Now he's got B rank bow. Hell yeah! Give him some praise. Increase his motivation back up. Give him some of those. Let's do finish off his authority. Oh, we got another perfect. Very nice. Uh, earn the ability mobile leader. It's all making sense now. Or model leader. Well, I guess we can do Cyril. <laughs> he's only the only things he's trained in are these two: our axe and bow. You get nine from this. I'm not really sure what to do with him, honestly. Cause I don't know if I can even like take him with me. I got. Oh. I... Let's make him super good with an axe. Yeah, now he's got B rank X, yeah. got Lance Breaker. Marianne. Alright, she needs something more than more than just this. Let's throw her let's just like load her up on sword skills. Let's make her really good with the sword. Yes, we got a perfect, hell yeah. Which reminds me, we should probably give her another sword. <laughs> oh, we got one more. Lorenz, Raphael. Raphael is B, C, plus, D, plus. He's got B, C, D, D. This dude's got, got to improve his writing skills. Now I... That was... I've come... One more in the last. There we go. Alright, and that's everybody. Let's begin the lecture. Well, may I? Of course. 
Um, excuse me, can you help me? I always get the feeling that I'm being watched. I get so nervous that I can't sleep at night. That's the goddess watching over you. You're safe here. It could be someone who's interested in you. You might be right, you should be careful. I see. Ah. Uh, that was only kinda good. Man, answering their questions gives you a ton of professor points, though. Professor. As masters of both weaponry and magic, Dark Knights are true paragons of excellence in the battlefield. With reason as a prerequisite, it seems I am suited for the role, wouldn't you say? Focus on lance and writing skills to excel as a writing class. Focus on reason and writing skills to focus to excel as a Dark Knight. He's got really good lance skills, I guess, right now. So, sure. Cyril would like to talk to me. Is now a good time? Hell yeah. Aha! Found you. What's up, boy? You're always nosing around places, aren't you, Professor? Can be real hard to find you sometimes. Uh, sorry about that. No worrying about it. I just wanted to talk to you about a thing today. Do you remember how Lady Rhea asked you to come to the office this evening? Nope. Well, she told me that I should come to let you know that today's a bad day for doing that, and you should go and see her tomorrow instead. That's Good pretty much everything I needed to say, I think. Oh, except to ask you if you've seen Sedith around anywhere. I have not seen Sedith. Okay, I'm supposed to tell <laughs> Sedith the thing Lady Rhea told me to tell you, but he's hard to find. Uh, want me to tell him for you? Uh, want to look for him together? No, it's all right. Thanks. But if you see him, then please find me and tell me where you saw him, okay? Because then I'll know where he is and I can tell him. I'll be in the stables if you need me. Gotta put out the fodder before it's the next kid's shift. Don't want her thinking I left my work for her to do. Oh, but if I'm not in the stables and you need to find me, I'll be at the forest up north because there's a bunch of logs lying around up there. I figure I ought to chop them up or else someone might trip on a log or we might run out of firewood. And if I chop, then it'll save other people time. If it looks like I'm done there, then the quarters need to be sweeped. So if you see Sedith and you need to find me, then I might be there. Uh, can I help you with anything? Nope. This is my job. I'm not giving it to anyone else because it's mine and I'm gonna do it. Besides, if you help me out, Lady Rhea might give me an earful. I don't know why, but Lady Rhea sure does seem to like you. She's always worried about what you might be doing or not doing. Is that so? Oh, ah, yeah. so she's not that it's any of my business. concerned about me. Anyways, Lady Rhea asked me to do some jobs, so I'm doing them all. Even some she didn't ask for, but I know need doing. So I'm doing them. End of story. And remember, if you see Sadith around, come find me and tell me where you saw him, yeah? I'll consider it. Huh? But I just told you where I'd be. If I'm not in the stables, I'll be at the forest. If I'm not, oh, I see. You're right. I'm all over the place, huh? Hmm. I don't want to waste your time, Professor. So if you see Sedith, how about you tell him I was looking for him and then tell him all the places I'll be? Then he can spend his time looking for me instead of you. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. A real good plan. Let's do that. See you later, Professor. Uh, okay. All right. Yo, now we got support level C, and he's got max motivation again. Uh, I'm to work with Leone. What's wrong? Can't stomach being paired up with a commoner? Not at all, but I am concerned about what you will make me do. We did well, didn't we? Lawrence did a great job. It was just as I'd feared. Let us discuss it no further. Yo, we got a perfect. And we got smithing stones for it. Yo, Ignat's B+. I sit the B+. I feel like I get it now. Yo, bow prowess level Gotta 4. Grasp on this. Reason level 4. Hell yeah. Yo, what do we got today? So... All right, so let's let's take a look at these certifications now, since we can now look at the master certifications. So we got Wyvern Lord, Lance Axe Flying. Dang. Mortal Savant. Yo, Mortal Savant is a magic user. 
Oh, sword and reason. Maybe I should do that. Great knight. Uh, X, heavy armor, and writing. Hmm. Bow knight. Lance, bow, writing. Oh, I should do that. Yep, I should do that for Leone. Lance, bow, and writing. Dark knight, lance, reason, and writing. Yep, that's definitely... What's his face? It's definitely... Ig not Ignatz. Um, crap, what's his name? Lorenz. Holy knight. Lance, faith, and writing. That's gotta be what what's your name war master axe and brawl my my boy so mortal savant sword and reason so there's not really any master classes hmm. interesting what about does, does he have any different master classes no claude claude you have any different master classes no looks like he has all the same ones Looks like... Mm hmm. Looks like there's... Okay, so you can get a Falcon Knight. If you're a, a woman. Sword, Lance, and Flying. Sword, Lance, and Flying. Interesting. Can be taken a level 30 or higher, 20 or higher. So I still got plenty of levels before I can even do advanced classes. Grimmery, Reason, Faith. An expert in all forms of magic, the Grimmery casts asunder any enemies with high physical defense. I can make her a, uh, a mortal savant. Actually, she doesn't do Reason. I guess I could do this. I could start loading up Reason on her instead of Sword, like I was doing. Swordmaster. Yo, Swordmaster has a katana. Swordmaster takes a katana instead of like a good sword. Fortress Knight. Axe heavy armor. Warrior. Straight axe. Wyvern Rider. Oh yeah, wait. Cyril. Dude, I, I still have an intermediate Cyril. Thing, don't I? I can make him a brigand. Hell yeah. Might as well, I mean. I mean, there's nothing really else I could do with him, I think, I'm pretty sure. Nice. Cyril the brigand. I passed! Yeah, you're going to be that newly certified class. So, flame. Cheese, lance. What is it? She has lance. Lance, reason. I can make her a dark knight, too. No, she, she doesn't have reason. She has lance, faith. So I could do writing and make try and make her a holy knight. Which is what I should probably do with her. Add, her, add some more writing. Again, that's... We got plenty of time before that. Yo, I got five. I got five things for the blacksmith. I literally can't... I can't do, like, anything with them, though. Because don't you need... Yeah, you need ten. I can repair someone's... Something of someone's. Probably Lorenz. He's only got... Twelve. Does anyone even need it more than Lorenz? 18, but she has alternate weapons, 17. I should give her a better bow, too. There's an axe in the... Alright. Lorenz, we're gonna repair that. Can I... Wait, can I repair hers, too? No. Dang. Alright, uh, armory. First of all, we're gonna sell your iron bow, because that is worthless. 
And we are going to buy you... God dang it. I'm going to buy you a steel bow. Because you can use a steel bow, right? She is like seed level. She's got pretty high archery, I'm pretty sure. Doesn't she? She's D plus. So decent archery. Marianne, let me give you a sword. Wait, no, I don't have a sword. Let me give you a steel sword. Just in case you need it. Oh, you need a bow too. And a steel axe. Let's get rid of that iron axe. You don't need that. We don't need that garbage around here. Uh, you need some vulnerabilities. Give him a let's give him an iron shield too. I could give her an iron shield. I will give her an iron shield. Uh let's give her an iron lance actually. Or an iron lance. Let's give her a steel lance. in case she needs to use that. Let's give this iron one. Does anyone else have crappy stuff that I don't need? Lorenz. Alright. I keep forgetting. Item shop has shields for some reason. Lorenz, you have nothing on you, so take this iron shield. do a battle. Alright, we have so much. Local units, 2 out of 22. Lorenz receives a letter from his father. Uh, units, Lorenz. Alright, uh, we got a bunch of quests involving these things. Maintaining your training. Clearing the way. Let's do these. We got some low level ones we'll uh, just chop down real quick. Events Land of the Golden Deer. Looks like the only days I can do this are this month. But at the same time, like, it says I only have 2 out of 22, so. White Clouds. Clearing the way. White Clouds Chapter 7 Field of the Eagle and Lion. All right, so, inventory, wait. Units. Okay, so he's an adjunct to me. So he's not an actual unit, he's just an adjunct, okay. So I could reassign him to anyone, really. <laughs> uh, if I'm going to assign him to someone, it should probably be like Marianne, right? Wait, what level is he? He's level 13. He's a higher level than every one of my characters, except Hilda, Ignat, and me. <laughs> Alright, let's let's set him to her. Okay, so you can only have three combat arts. Does anybody have
ground who's good against flying units. I doubt we'll be going against flying units. I guess you could check the map. Uh, nah, there's no flying units. So there's no point in having grounder. She's got a bunch. Spike. Plus 5 might, plus 10 crit, plus 15 hit. One range. This is effective against cavalry, which I don't think there is cavalry. Helm splitter is effective against armor. It's really useful to have. Smash acts with high crit. 3 might, 15 crit, 20 hit. This is spike. Spike does more damage in general, but it has less of a chance to crit, but never crits anyway. Trade that out. And we'll stick with the rest of those. Monster Pierce. Effective against monsters. That'd be nice to have on like a monster mission, but uh, not currently have any of those. At least as far as I'm aware, there's not going to be a monster here. set this up. How are we gonna set this up? Alright, now we got three... That's fine with her right there. Marianne, you gotta go all the way in the back. I'm sorry, Marianne. I really want to level you up, because you're, you're falling behind, because you only get experience from... You know, you'll need a little experience. What is her... She's got really good resistance, actually. Alright. I think we're ready to fight. Let's go. This should be pretty easy. This is like a level 7 mission, so these guys should be pretty low level. Player phase. Like, yeah, level 7. Like, these guys are going to be no challenge. Let us away. I stand ready. Let's get to it. Okay, I can literally only attack this one guy. Um, actually, wait, she has a bow. Fine. Interesting. Right, I forgot she's a she's a bow horse rider. She can't go that far. hit this guy. What about Ignatz? Ready, Ignatz can only go to the same place. But he can just straight up attack because he's more skilled with a bow. He's got like B plus level bow skills or something like that. Which means I should be able to combat art somebody from here. Okay, so the two of them can take out that guy. Unfortunately, he can only attack that guy. Wait, Ignatz. So Ignatz can only attack this guy, okay. Well, from there, actually, can he attack? No, he can only attack this guy, alright. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's just kill this guy. Dead. 
A trivial victory. Steel Bowen. You know, for some reason, I thought she was going to just kill him, but I don't know why I thought that. Uh, he gets really targeted if we go over there. Oh, hey, there's a healing thing right here. So I killed the only guy who him and Ignatz can attack. I guess no. Yep. Hmm. Stay focused. Let's have him come up here, draw fire. Basically, gets attacked by someone no matter where I put him. Alright, she basically will not get hit here. <laughs> With her high, super high avoidance in the trees. Oh, he missed. And took 26 damage back. Lorenz, almost up to 13. Literally can't, literally can't do damage. Twenty-seven percent chance to hit, and would do zero damage if he did. Oh, Hilda! Uh, sweaty. Three damage with a five percent chance to hit. Holy crap! Dang. All right, so. Kill this man. Because I want you to level up. Because you are the sorry. lowest level here. Don't be sorry. Never be sorry for committing murder. Wow, Claude is only 11, actually. Claude needs to level up. Claude's falling behind. I guess we couldn't take him on that one mission. That's right. That's the golden deer for you. I'm not done. All right. Oh, yeah, that's right. She has a bow. Poke the scout with Ignatz. And finish him off with her. I feel like I should double class Lorenz. 
to take advantage of his reason if need be. These guys are archers, right? No, they're... They're just... X guys. Okay. Actually, wait. Shit. Can I just attack these guys? Oh, I went back an entire turn. Shit. I just wanted to go back like one... for one space. Well, we get to watch all this happen again. Watch and learn. Alright. I guess I could do something... Some things differently. I'm not going to. Nosferatu. Was that helpful? It was very helpful. Let's get to it. Who, me? I stand ready. Okay. So I could literally just kill one of these guys. Or both of them actually. And if I had the plus if I if I had a plus lance on her, I probably could have just killed her. Killed him. Ready and willing. Cloud well, can't get close enough. So I'm just gonna do that. It's not luck, it's fate. 12. Progress. Leave it to me. Oh, ha, ha, ha. I Tempest Lance. Where ends up the thirteen? I am still. Let's go stab this dude. Nice dodge. Stay focused. Ready anytime. I can't kill this guy now, though, actually. Whatever. 
Rescue? What does this do? Moves an ally to a space near user? Yo, that's really cool. Okay, so I can only move characters that are near me. Currently, she's going to get targeted. I moved her one space. That could have been more useful. But now this guy's targeting him. And that's preferred. Can I do anything with with her without her getting targeted? I can just move her to here. I said he also gets targeted no matter where what I do. Yep. If he if he decides to go for Lysithia, sure, whatever. Ooh, solid hit there. Solid hit there, Mr. Bandit. Unfortunately, you're dead. Ooh. He hits the 50%, but gets blown up by the 97-24 hit. Alright. Or do cure status effects on all allies within range so she can only heal people she's not like her she doesn't have psychic so she can only people who are heal people who are next to her which is a little annoying Oh, he got a crit. 72 damage crit. Alright. <laughs> I was literally just doing that to uh, weaken that guy so Leone could kill him, but... I guess not. She gets five, so, or she gets six, so, nice so. Of you. bigger heal. Yo, let's move Claude. Just for the experience. Claude can actually kill this guy, so... Go kill him, Claw, just stab him with your sword. Sorry, but victory is mine. Alright, the rest of you. Uh just move as far as you can.
to your good buddy Lysithia over there. Apologies. Up to 11, very nice. I guess I feel... And she has low HP. That guy hurts really bad. But what if... Now hear me out. What if we poke him from a range he can... Don't hold this against oh, me, well, okay? he's dead. Never mind. 63 damage crit. That's the golden deer for you. Alright, well... That is... Not what I planned on happening. But, uh, it worked out, I guess. 16 damage. Oh, move again. Oh, she can't move again. Here. You guys could kill that guy. They both moved. I guess we're just going to kill him with Ignatz. I probably should have attacked him with Ignatz first and I then sent Neoni in to finish him off. Doo -doo. Enemy phase. They're coming in. They're coming in, hot boys. Ignat's taking a couple hits. Marianne can kill this man, so I'll do it. I won. Ignatz, move slightly. Alright, I can kill, the, kill all these guys on this turn, actually. Hurt him. want Leone to get some experience so she can be a freaking higher level. I call that a win. Yeah, there we go, up to 12. Only that? HP and travel. Yeah, we'll receive bullion, nice. Lysithia is still super far away. She has not done a whole lot thus far. Because uh, she can't. Ooh, very close. Un I just kill him with unarmed, really? Alright, I'll hit him four times unarmed. Oh, I missed! No! 
As long as I don't miss two of those. Should have trained better. Yeah. Making him a brawler was apparently a very good decision. Let's do some damage. Oh, he hits your back. It's alright though. It's alright. Oh yeah. And ending it all. It's not luck, it's fate. And plot up to thirteen. Progress suits me well. Stage complete, clearing the way in five turns. Claude was the MVP. Renown increased. Let's save the game. <laughs> Alright, so that was my free day. For that free day, we uh, we literally just went and killed some people. Guys, we have a free day. Let's go kill some bandits. Yeah! How else are you going to spend your free time? Alright. We'll do some manual instruction. Group tasks. Easy writing skill, heavy armor skill flying skill. Alright. We need some other people to get writing skill. Uh, Flame. You need some writing skill. Claude. You wait. Is it Claude? Who else needs a writing? Needs writing. I guess Lorenz because he has writing currently. Um, he has no motivation. Man. People don't have any motivation when you, uh, when you go for a battle and don't do anything to raise their motivation. Alright, well, Raphael is max motivation, so... Yeah, perfect. Let's raise his heavy armor. Two perfects! A good. A good. Three goods, two perfects, three goods. Not bad. Cyril, your max motivation. Uh, we should give him something besides just those two. Um, I guess we'll give him flying. Make him a wyvern rider or something like that. That'd be pretty dope. Alright, Flane. Flane, I haven't done anything with you yet, so... Let's see. You... Need writing. She's a weakness I would like to do for this. Alright. And last but not least. <laughs> Who do I want to do the last one for? Give her some of some of bow. What's up, her bow? I've learned. Not quite, not quite the level bow. Oh wait, we have one more. Cool. Uh, let's do Asithia. And she has a lot of weakness ones. Go with writing, I guess. I don't know, man. It was Begin the lecture. Uh, since I spend most of my time looking after horses and praying to the goddess, I think it would make uh, holy knight. Uh, yes, do that. Give her writing skills. She can be a holy knight eventually. I think that's like master tier. It's Ash's birthday. Let's give him some flowers. We're not gonna do anything more than that because he's not my student. I am ready to begin. Very well. Let's begin. Well, Professor, impressed? Super impressed, dude. 
Yo, they got a perfect. Hell yeah. We got a skill up. Yo, we got a skill up. We got a skill up. Now I see the heart of it. Dexterity plus four. Do I have to manually click it? All right. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Impressive. Thanks. Yo, you're welcome. Renown, Renown 50. We got some other stuff. Quest complete. Battalion, merchant, military. Nice, we got some battalions. Alright, I think I'm going to use my last thing to actually double this guy. To make him a mage, too. Oh, wait. Being a dark mage would be fucking dope. But, just in case we want to, you know, have him be a mage. We got the extra intermediate seal that I have no plans on using anything else in. He's got the magic. He, he, I would like him to be able to use it. It would be pretty cool if he could. Was there any doubt? Yeah, sure. We'll make. We'll, we'll have him do that. Have him be on that for now. All right, blacksmith. Repair. Alright, Leone. And repair your lance. Alright, is there anything else that I feel needs to be repaired? Mm -hmm. 28. We did use... We did kind of use that a little too much. Alright, uh, Lorenz, we're gonna, we're gonna repair your lance. There we go. And we have no money. Oh, yeah. We got some stuff we can sell. I know we got a bullion somewhere because we picked it up off a guy. There we go. Get rid of that. She has another intermediate seal. I guess we could reclass her, too, as a flying thing. We got two beginner seals, which I don't think I'll ever use. But, I don't know, maybe I will. I have no idea. We have these, which I have not given to anybody. Increases luck by four, increases strength by one, increases charm by one. I should give those to people. All right. The real question here is, what am I going to do? Am I going to explore or am I going to battle? Because we've got a bunch of battle quests. But I kind of think I need to explore at the same time. Nah, we'll do battle. We'll do this other level 7 quest. But uh, I'm just going to set this up. So I can save the game. And then uh, we'll actually do the battle next time.